students, ladies and gentlemen, whatever the case may be. Uh, quick lesson in washing. Uh, when you're opening up a acetylene bottle, opens to the left, it even got it on top to it. I just opened it up that far. I saw these needles jump. That's that's where I need to stop. In case the fire gets away, you can, you can close it and put it out real quick. This on the other end is a high pressure bottle. So we're going to go all the way with this. Because there is supposedly a O-ring on top and the bottom of that needle valve and it's high pressure. So you go all the way so that bottom one will come up and close it off and you won't have any leaks. Uh, I'm washing steel with a cutting tip. So it's, I want it a little hot. I'm going to bring up my oxygen about 40. My acetylene. It's on just about 8. Working pressure around 6 or 7. That's a pretty good hot flame. My flame, I want it hot. Just one time, but uh, I like using a little bit of an oxidizing flame, and that is more oxygen than a That neutral flame is not oxidized, and it's hot. This kit needs cleaning. still wash with it. Now, I'm going to wash out this lap joint. I'm not going to, I'm going to wash this weld out, but that's not what I'm going to do first. I'm going to come in inside that weld. Actually, I'll probably start down there and wash along the edge right here until I get through this plate and hit that bottom plate and see that separation. Once I see that separation, I can, I can then kind of flick it up and wash out my weld if I've got this flame right. Also, once I start washing, and it's this is a cutting torch, I like to control my oxygen to a certain degree. But once it starts melting good, I'm going to back up and get further from it and wash it out. And then if I lose the cut or lose that puddle, then I'll get closer. So you, you, if you'll notice, I'm always moving back and forth, depending on what I need to do to complete that wash. And this is the way I like to do it. First and foremost, safety. Look at me. And this is the safety thing. Wear glasses with this. You also need some kind of burning glasses. And these are dirty. So back to the plate. Here we go. I don't need but about maybe a half a turn of acetylene and three eighths of a turn on oxygen. Just a little bit less on oxygen. And that was a little bit too much. I'm going to get oxidized and flame. Warm it up. Preheat it. Coming in here at a real low angle, low as I can. It's ready now, so I'm going to start easing the options here. But be careful right there that edge. I'm trying my separation, there's my separation. Now I'll get that oil back up off of it. Give it some more oxygen. Then I'm going to come back and find my separation. Now 
Now you see I'm getting further and further away as it cuts down toward that bottom plate. I'll run that separation on that while I got it. I'm coming up on that back well, so I've got to be careful here not to step through it and into the bottom plate. Now I'm back up and watch this out. Let's get it going. I'm also angling it toward the outside. That way I have very little cleanup. Oh, there's one side. Go back and get this side. Find my separation fast. There's my separation. Better aim. There's my separation. Now if I've done this right, it's an easy clean up. Most of the time it's good to get the time and the slag will fall off. Now what I'm left with is a good clean edge, relatively straight. Uh, after that, flip it over to the other side. You can flip these plates over and re-weld them. Use them twice. Cut.